about the time someone invented North Carolina to come to America, a hundred million most of it called. Now, on first impression, this is just a normal car. Look a little closer and you start to notice that you have a few features. But as soon as you open the bonnet, it's obvious that this is very different from any other car on the road. combustion engine fueled by petrol or diesel, this rather nice colour-coordinated engine runs on fresh air. No, I'm not joking. This is the Spirit of Joplin aircraft. <laughs> zero-emission vehicle that can be driven 24 hours a day. And since this car only takes in air, it only exhausts air. So we avoid the pollution that comes from burning fuel. Mm -hmm. But I don't really understand how it works. Can you tell me how it works? Well, it's really very simple, but if we look under the hood, I think it'll be clear the first time. Right, that's okay. it, yeah. I think it's important to understand that this is an engineer prototype vehicle. The air stored in the and rear tank comes from this supply line to the first smallest cylinder. There are actually four cylinders involved. The smallest here, the next largest, largest yet, and then the largest. So why are they confined? Because each time the air is used to push the crank wheel assembly, a little pressure drops because energy has been extracted from the air. Then the air passes to a larger cylinder. The lower pressure reacts against the larger surface area the same way it did against the smaller surface area at a higher pressure. This provides equal thrust on the process. And so that same bit of air is used in each of the cylinders. Over and over again, only to be exhausted through the exhaust pipe out to the atmosphere with only about 16 pounds of pressure left in it. Okay, so where do you get enough compressed air from? Well, at the moment, you'd need one of these, a natural gas-powered air compressor. Not something you see on every street corner. But if air car takes off, these will be springing up all over town. This compressor is fueled by natural gas, but you could use any available energy source. And this is the only time in the whole process when any fuel is burned. The natural gas fuels this car engine, and that drives the compressor, which produces enough compressed air to power over a hundred air cars, costing less than one penny a mile. Recharging the fuel tank takes only about five minutes, and then you can drive around for two and a half hours. So it's just fully charged up now. I think it's time for a bit of a test run.